Right, we're back. Welcome to another edition of uh, Talking Tackle with uh, the Bedford Big Boy Specimen Hunters. With Nige. Badge, give us a, give us a light. One uh, we've come back to, uh, to Peterborough, to Bluebell Lakes. Home of, uh, well, previous home of Benson. And uh, today we're fishing the Maddard Lake which uh, it's a pretty big lake, I think it's like 16 acres as you can see, very 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 big lake and it goes all the way around there supposed to be a bit of a, a runs water but we'll see about that um, spoke to, to the bailiff this morning when we got here and apparently it's been pretty slow but we'll, we'll see what we can do So. Badge, you looking forward to the session? Definitely, mate. I'm all geared up. Got my rods primed. Bait ready to go out. I'm feeling good, mate. So what, what's your uh, goal for the session? My goal for the session, today's session, is just to get that first elusive bite <laughs> on uh, on what we've told is a pretty quiet lake at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see where we go with it, with the tactics for today. See if we need to change anything for tomorrow. Sounds good, Nige. What about you, uh, sorry, Badge? <laughs> what about you, Nige? Yeah, good. I feel good. Rods are all primed and ready. Lovely few stick mixes on there. See, while they're fucking about, like, eating bacon sardines, my rods are already out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're ready. I'm, I'm cooking. I'm on it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Right. On. Good luck, good luck, lads. Nige, what are we doing here then, son? Meth and mix going in. Let's have a look in the bucket, do a little tilt forward. So, what have we got in there? Some ground bait, some particles, We've got some, some pellets, nut, some nut particles, some hemp, some hemp seed oil, some tutti fruity boilies, some maize, sweet corn, all the things that carp love to scoff down. <laughs> Give it a nice good old mix up here. And this is a finished article, loads of air. And then uh, we wrap them up like these bad boys. Yeah. Little balls, uh, ready to catapult out. Yep, ready to go. So uh, that's the bait that I'm using as well. We've uh, kind of gone ours for the first uh, session. Yeah, can you pass us my little uh, bug mix? So that's what I'm uh, kind of doing at the moment. I'm. Uh, Added a bit of that to the mix myself, but obviously I've got my um, my rigs got them uh, soaking in that, so hopefully should come up a winner. Hey, Nige. Hopefully this will do the job. It's a bad boy mix. Lovely. <laughs> so uh, we're back again, and Nige was preparing uh, all the ground mix, you know, ready to chuck out, but. This is the actual business end, what I'm planning on doing. So, you know, gonna use standard PVA bags. Um, so, gonna use that, okay. Um, this is the rig that I'm using. It's just a ordinary flip rig, okay. And it's got a um, 15 mil handmade boilie, which is like maple and tiger nut, and it's topped off a little snowman and that's a uh, tutti fruity tip off so that top bit that actually floats so when it's in the water it's actually going to be sitting off the bottom so it's lovely so what we're going to be doing is we're going to use them PVA bags so I've done that so I've got a uh, PVA bag for the boilers that I'm using so bad if you could just grab the phone for a son <laughs> So what we'll be doing, just uh, cutting the ends off, making it a bit more neater, okay, then uh, get a little baiting needle and force your way through the bag like that. So then what we're going to be doing after that is getting your rig, 
putting on the baiting needle there and then pulling it through. There you go. So that's the uh, the finished rig. So I'm um, going to attach that to my rod, cast that out, and what will happen is that PVA bag will actually dissolve and all those boilers will all spread out and it'll all be around my uh, my hook bait. And then uh, hopefully the idea is a carp's going to come swimming along, munch all them up and then pick up my one. So that's the plan. That's what I'm using. So hopefully that'll work. Dialy. So badge, what's uh, what's this contraption you've got here? This mate, this is called a spom. It's a it's a it's going in a different direction from a spod because it's mainly for for dry mixes of bait. All right, so and let's boilies have a, and stuff like that. So. Let's have a look at it for the viewers. Let's have a look there. Hold on. Close, close up view. Just sort this tip out. So there's your little mix you got there. That's been mixed there. Some particles, some we chocolate got, uh, boilies, some maize. It's uh, maize and hemp, some ground bait, a bit of, bit of stick mix, some chopped boily. Lovely. All right, let's have, a, let's have a look at this. This is the spawn. You obviously fill it up on one half, close it up, and it's designed so when it hits the water, it hits the water on the tip here, which is a little button, which opens it out, releases the bait into a lovely bed for you, and those lovely carp. Right, so let's uh, let's see this in action then. Okay. You can get some good distance with one of these. Really accurate. Bang on the money. Every time. Every time. <laughs> now, that, now that's my sort of fishing. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> Except I don't think this one's open. <laughs> it hasn't, the little bastard. <laughs> drop it down on the surface. This is how it should work, like so. It opens out the water, drops your bait. You know, look at that, a feast for any carp. <laughs> While we're here, let's have a look at, let's try again. Look at uh, Badger's setup. Let's, uh, let's go for take two. Very neat and tidy. So, uh, so Badger, I, I've noticed that you, uh, you're clipping your line. Yes, mate, I want it to go uh, the same distance every time. So if I clip the line, all I've got to do is cast at maximum power or, and let, let the clip do the rest. At maximum velocity. There you go, perfect. Every time on the spot. I tell you what, Badge, I like that spot there. It's looking alright, mate. Back again. And uh, Badge, we've seen your uh, baiting up techniques and what you've got on the uh, on the bottom. So let's talk about business end. What what we're saying? Well, unfortunately. I got snapped off a minute ago, so I'm having to quickly just put out an emergency quick five minute KD rig. I think I might whack a little pop up on there. Don't want to be messing about making intricate rigs now, really. So, simplicity is the key, mate. Right, uh, that's what we're going for. Simple. So, what kind of baits we actually hook baits we're going to be using? Well, uh, well. Mainly, my main part of my spod mix was um, was chopped boily and maize. Right. So I think I'm going to go for a bit, a nice bit of slow sinking maize. Lovely. Let's have a look at them, Badge. What 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 we using? What we using, right? Then. Let's have a look. 
Okay, so we've got a choice really. We've got either we've got the white white Bonoffi pop-up maze, or we've got the nice IB dumbbells we can chuck out there as well. Now one of them might have to go out there. So uh, I think that's 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 the sort of direction we're looking at there, ads. Yeah. Yes, mate. Okay, mate. Yeah. Other than that. Yeah, that's it. Really? So what kind of uh, boilers have you been putting out this? Boilers. I've been using me. Uh, I've been using me old faithful cell boilers that have been soaked in almond goo for about a year. Yeah. They're fucking so rancid. They are. They're stinking now, mate. <laughs> but they're good. Plenty of flavour. Plenty of smell. The, uh, the tip we got off the bailiff this morning don't seem to be working. You know, he said. Mate. Fruity flavours and uh, bright colours. Well, you know, we've listened. We've we've gone with what the bailiff said. We've tried our own little little things, little different things here and there, chopping and changing. Nothing seems to be working, mate. Let's do no, it. No one's way. having much luck, but but we are we are the big boys, specimen hunters, and we don't give in. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> Lovely stuff. So we're uh, here with a crafty carper. So, so Nigel, let's so have, so have a look. What, did you just call me gay? Guy. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look at uh, what we're doing there, Nigel. What's the... Uh, oh dear. Right, it's so basically what score? we're going to try something a little bit different because I think it's a bit weedy out there. So we're going to go steel with the stick mix. We're going to go half a Bonoffi pop-up with a nice fluorescent pink Bonoffi pop up on the top as well. Cut in the middle, cut on the top, so it joins to make a little snowman. And we pull it through, and we're gonna try and get it so much off the bottom, we're putting a little bit of putty on it. So when all that like melts down and sits, that should by then come up to about that distance where the putty is. So we try and get above the weed. Yeah, I think, uh... We've chucked a lot of bait out there and we've we haven't had much success have we with the bottom no, bait? I'm so. not having much success with bottom bait so I'm trying to just get them up maybe, I don't know, just above the weed a little bit. Just yeah. so it's a little bit more visible. Right. And try the old pinkies. They say pinkies work best here. That sounds like a plan, Nigel. Sounds like a plan to me so we'll shut that one in a little bit later on. So what... Uh, you gonna do them on all your rods, are you? Or? No, 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 no. I'm still, I'm still sticking with a choddy. Yeah. So I've got one on one, and one on the other. So I've got two options. Two like options. One. Hopefully the big boy will come along. Hopefully, mate. All <laughs> right. Tight lines, Nige. Tight lines, mate. All right. So the Bedford big boy special nutners are here. Just had a bon food, food delivered. Look at that nice pizza there. From there. Pizza in it up. So. We said we'd give a shout out. So if you're ever fishing at uh, Bluebell Lakes, Eastern, Eastern Spice. Yeah, Eastern Spice. Eastern Spice in Oundle. They do quality food, they do curries, kebabs, burgers. It's a good one. It's a good one. So nice, yeah. ever fishing here, give them, give them a call. They deliver straight to the gate. So anyway, back to the fishing. And mention uh, big boy specimen hunters when yeah. you order. Mention big bed for big boy specimen hunters, you may even get a discount. <laughs> so, hey, boys, today's been a bit slow. Is that blinding you, badge? No, right. Today's been a bit slow. Um, starting to pick up in the uh, afternoon, evening. Fish are starting to show. I've had a few runs. What do you reckon, badge? Are you uh, confident for tonight? Well, as we saw earlier, mate, we've seen a lot more fish showing over this part of the lake today and early this evening. So we've got a lot of bait out there. Yeah. We've got a lot of bait. We've got various hook links, you know, as far as we're concerned. I we're mean, doing everything right. Where where you've been, you've you've kind of thrown all your eggs in one basket, haven't you? You've yeah. spotted one big area and put all three put all rods three on, on top, mate. Chucked yeah. a load of boilers on top of that as well, so see, I've kind we've of all gone... got good big baited areas, so we're yeah. doing the right thing. It's up to the fish now. Yeah, I've kind of gone the opposite. I've kind of done two two 
rods in a similar spot mm. and then one completely different. So, Nigel, what, what are you thinking? Apart oh. from being blinded. <laughs> yeah, no, we've seen fish showing. Stuck to the same method. It's up to them now, isn't it? We've seen them coming up on the surface, which is a lot better than uh, <laughs> a day ago. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully there's... A shitload of bait out there now. Yeah, a big bit of bait out. There. I mean, we we actually couldn't have done any more, could we? No. Fucking, we've done every tactic method. We've tried everything, mate. We've had the rods in and out all day. We've had different rigs, different hook baits, different areas. But there's enough free food out there, isn't there? Yeah. God oh, bloody hell. I mean, you've got a theory, ain't you, Badger, about the wind pressure, ain't you? To why they've well, not been feeding. Apparently, we're in the middle of, we're sat in the middle of a big high pressure band, and that ain't good for the fish, mate. The fish don't want to know when there's high pressure, messes with their bodies. So, all we can hope for, get that low pressure back in tomorrow. <laughs> Couple of hours in the morning, yeah, we may hit that big boy. <laughs> Lovely, because uh, at the moment, currently, blanking is uh, giving Nigel. High blood pressure. <laughs> anyway, Nigel's gonna white if he we're, we're gonna finish these pizzas and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get some action tonight. Well, come to the end of the session and uh, we had quite a few knocks over the night and that, but no runs or nothing. Well, some mini runs, but no fish. Disappointing, disappointing session, Badge. Yes, mate. Been very disappointing this one, Adam. <laughs> I think this has been a bit. This has been a lot more disappointing than our than our bluebell session. But we did. We managed to catch fish at bluebells. Yeah. You know, we've got no chance here, mate. I think if we was here for another forty-eight hours, we still wouldn't have a fucking bite. So, yeah. Uh, all the fish, as you can see behind me across the lake, all the fish are coming out that side of the water. Just did, just didn't happen for us this time. Yeah, the bailiffs just come over and said a guy just right opposite us on that far bank where the fish has come, been coming out. Apparently, one guy's only been here 24 hours, and he's had 12 fish, four, four of them upper, in the upper 20s. Upper 20s. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, just goes to show you can be expert fishermen like us, have all the gear. All the tactics, all the bait, but if the fish in in your in that your part of the lake, yeah, you can't do much else, can, can you, Nige? Can't do nothing. Oh, nice. Have a few words, Nige. Well, the only thing that you can do is move, but. <laughs> well, there aren't many swims over there, is there? A lot, a lot of the swims no swims, swims over there. The swims there weren't any. Taken, didn't they? When we first turned up, there was no swims at all spare yeah. over there. They're all taken. That's why we're here, really. Yeah. Because all the swims over there were gone. That's, that's the thing about fishing on a big lake like this. Uh, you know, there's meant to be a good head of 5,000 fish stocked in this, but... Yeah, but they're all up that end. Yeah, they're, <laughs> I can't believe they're all up that end, but... You know, a few things went against us, really. You got the, the weather for a start on Wednesday, didn't help. Yeah. The size of the lake, it's a massive, massive 25-acre lake. You know, it's very shallow on the edges crystal clear and uh, it's new it's a new lake we've none of us have ever fished it yeah we don't know nothing about it we're known for next time if we decide to come back on here yeah. won't we Ads. I'm disappointed now well, I'm coming back I've got unfinished business <laughs> yeah. well that's it specimen hunters don't give in mate the specimen hunters have got unfinished business with the old complex haven't we, we will, we will <laughs> catch we will catch big fish here we will catch big fish that's what we're here to it's what we're paid to do it's what we're paid to do this so is why we do this what show. we live for this is what we do mate so yesterday Nigel I, I forgot to get this on our camera I heard you had a bit of beef with a swan. <laughs> Mate, you from over the other swim. He cast in and the swan got wrapped around his wing, his lead, and his line, and it dragged it all the way down to my swim. Went straight through and we got all tangled up and Mate had to go in the water and unhook the swan. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had to set up again and recast. Mm. Shit happens, doesn't it? 
What a calamity. What a calamity. Right, well, we've still got, still got a couple of hours left, so. Two hours to do something. Yeah, so. we've whacked, we've whacked all our bait now. All our baits in. Two and, uh, hours to get a big boy. Right, we'll play a little, uh, little prank on Badger. Right, he's gone round the bushes uh, to bait up his swim. So you can actually get this app, right? It's a uh, bite alarm carp fishing. It's got loads of bite alarms on. So we're going to uh, simulate a bite for him. So he's yeah. got the Delkin, yeah? I'm going to put that on. So I'm going to walk over there with my phone. Pretend he's got a massive one. Nigel's going to film it. And let's get the fuck up. <laughs> 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 We've uh, come to the end of our 48 hour session on, uh, as you can see, Mallard Lake at Bluebird Lakes. And so I'm bad to say we've blanked. Uh, badge, what, 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 what's your closing thoughts, mate? Well, I think we was up, up against it from the start, Adam, because it's a massive, massive water. Don't think 48 hours is enough. Because uh, I reckon if we would have been here any longer, a move would have been all in order, mate. Yeah? I don't know. It's alright, that's corda. That's corda. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> alright, Danny. <laughs> alright, Danny. Yeah, we're, uh, we're filming the show, mate. Alright, yeah. Alright, tell Ali I'll ring him back. No, you can't come on our show, mate. <laughs> <laughs> alright, bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so, mate, yeah, you, you uh, saying? so I think we was up against it, mate. Uh, big band of high pressure came in and just and just ballsed everything up, really. So uh, all the action's been on the other side of the lake. Just not our, just not our time, mate. This time. <sighs> so uh, I think we need to go back, assess what we've done this this last couple of days, and take all that to a different lake. And I'm sure we'll have more luck. What like San Martin? San Martin. Even Kingfisher, something like that. What about you, Nigel? What are your thoughts, bro? I don't know. It's a hard lake to fish, just like what Badge says, really. <sighs> don't know. But unfinished business, we'll be back. We will be back. Alright, so sorry we didn't catch this time, but at the end of the day, that's, uh, that's fishing. We've done everything right, but if the fish isn't in the uh, where you are, you ain't going to catch. So. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us, uh, Bedford Big Boy Specimen Hunters. And uh, we'll see you on the bank. Ready? Bye! <laughs>